thousands of persons visited the scene. The lynching of the thousands of persons visited the scene of the lynching between daylight and eight o'clock when the body was cut down. After the jury had completed its work, the body was placed in the hands of the officers who were unable to keep the mob back. 300 men tried to drag the body through the streets of the town, but the Reverend Dr. Campbell of the First Presbyterian Church and Captain B.B. Mormon with pleas and by force prevented them. Captain Mormon hired a wagon and the body was put in it. It was then conveyed to the bank of Roanoke, about two miles from the scene of the lynching. Here, the body was dragged from the wagon by ropes for about 200 yards, and then it was burned. Piles of dry brushwood were bought, and the body was placed upon it. The more brushwood piled on the body leaving only the head bare. The whole pile was then saturated with coal oil and a match was applied. The body was consumed within an hour. The cremation was witnessed by several thousand people at one time. The mob threatened to burn the Negro mayor in Trout's yard. Thus did the people of Roanoke, Virginia, add this measure to prove to maintain our contention that it is only necessary to charge a Negro with a crime in order to secure his certain death. It is well known in the city before he was killed that he had not assaulted that woman with whom he had had the trouble, but he dared to have an altercation with a white woman, and for that he must pay a penalty. For an offense which would not in any other civilized community have brought upon him a punishment greater than a fine of a few dollars, this unfortunate Negro was hung, shot, and burned. And uh, no one did anything. So, I want y'all to know that we don't have to validate the police brutality. We don't have to validate your inhumane treatment of us. We don't have to validate the only anger you have for us. is not because we did anything to you. It's because we dare to tell you we don't like how you, we're being treated. And because you can't handle that, <coughs> send out the police, the militia, <coughs> that can shoot us unarmed. <clears throat> at will say where they're afraid for their life <clears throat> and kill us with impunity. Thank you, Ida B. Wells. Thank you. I'll see you next time in the mental house. <laughs>